Every parent only wants the best for their kids. And for East Rochester coach Mike Dom, being there for his sons Russell and Chuck was the best for all of them. His schedule as a college soccer coach spent lots of time away and lots of time missing his boys' games. But now he's coaching them and has gotten the Bombers off to a perfect start to the season and a perfect way to be with his family. It's great. I, I was coaching at Brockport for years and I'm like, I have to, if I keep on coaching at Brockport State, I'm going to miss these guys' best years and the best, my best years. So making that move from Brockport to coming back to Roch East Rochester to, to coach them was the best thing I ever did. It was fantastic. We've been having so much fun. It helps when those two siblings get along like these guys do, even if that wasn't always the case. Me, me, me and my brother used to fight a lot more, but we're more, uh, we're more uh, peaceful now because we both feed each other and we're we got good chemistry in that we, uh, we just love to play with each other in the field. I love my dad, always telling me like new advice and how to be a better player. They aren't the only ones on the Bomber squad who have become better players, and it all started after losing in last year's sectional finals, a game that gave them the motivation to make sure this year would end differently. Since uh, our loss to Sotus, every win uh, winter we've been working out after school and we've done winter games and summer we've had our own summer team. And all this has paid off for us to go 13-0 and, and strive us to make, do our best. We, in, the, in the summer, we had, a, we had a team, we had a goal to build for the next season. Obviously it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be fun compared to like the varsity season, but we just we, we had that goal in, set in, in mind that we wanted to become one of the best. So. The success this year has been great, but not unexpected. They have been building for this season since most of this group were in ninth grade, cutting their teeth against bigger and stronger opponents, which made them grow up in a hurry. I, I did expect success this year. This was supposed to be our year. Um, I'd known all this whole group since they were like in eighth grade. I brought my boys over from Pittsburgh and they all gelled very early on. And we've been playing varsity games as, as the starting like freshmen and sophomores. And it's tough when we're playing boys, uh, boys against men. This past year, with all the off-season training and just maturity, just natural growing, they got really strong, really athletic, and uh, they've actually exceeded my expectations of uh, how they can do on the field. Did you see going into the year that you guys could be this successful? Of course. Um, you know, we trained hard in the off-season, and doing stuff in the winter and the spring obviously helped lift our game, just working as a team together, and uh, I feel like you know, this was expected. We, this was our year to win sectionals, and I feel like if we can get through section five, we can honestly make a great run at states as well. Now that the regular season is winding down, the real season begins. All the success in the world can go right out the window if you aren't ready for sectionals, but the Bombers feel that they are. So towards the end of the year, all the teams, they usually start uh, getting more intense, so we always raise our game up, and uh, in practices, we're way more intense and we're more focused. We try way harder. This team has developed a chemistry over the years and through the off-season workouts, and a lot of them feel it's pretty unique, and it's obviously serving them well. I've always dreamed of like having a team that's like good and going far and to the the highest level of play and stuff like that. But with with this group of guys, it's just um, it's unreal. They're they're all like at a different level than some of the teams we see. The fact that we don't want to go out early this year and we don't want to go out with a loss like we did in the last year. We want to go all the way and we want to be a team this year, not so individual. I think last year a little more individual and we was trying to find my own goals. Like last year I felt like I was a little more individual. So this year we're like more of a team and we want to go all the way. You know, I've known most of these guys. I've known uh, Mike and Nate for my entire life. Uh, met Chuck and Russ in high school and uh, I feel like we've grown up together and matured together and as a team we've just gotten so much better. For a coach and a father, it's more than that. It's their willingness to put in the work and to play the game the right way that is making such a difference. Of all the teams that I've ever coached, this team just listens and learns. They do exactly what you tell them to do. There's no ego. There's no me first. Uh, they just, they really just want to win for the team. They want to win for their, their, for their buddies and their brothers next to them. And it's, it's that common goal with this team that they just want to raise the trophy as a team for all the hard work they've done that's really kept us on track. There's no um, not making the pass because I want to have the goal. They make the correct play because they want to be successful, and that's what really sets us apart from, I think, a lot of teams.
warm drink spot. Yeah, yeah. The concession oh stand. My All proceeds support Max. East Rochester Bombers soccer. The only one I can! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> no, <I'm not>. <laughs> <laughs> bombers on three! One, two, three, Bombers! Oh, boy. No,